Hello and welcome to ZimStream TV. Join us as we explore the latest news, trends, and analysis on politics, religion, and social issues affecting our country. From in-depth commentary to thought-provoking discussions. Subscribe now and hit the notification bell to stay ahead of the curve. President Manungugwa takes to the green for a good cause. Nicole Chibata released on bail after nearly three months of detention. Harare in a welcome development, Nicole Chibata, the student activist arrested on June 16 along with the Avondale 78 while commemorating the Day of the African Child, has been granted bail. Promise Mukwananza broke the news on X, saying, Nicole Chibata has been granted bail. Thank you to everyone's effort and campaign to get the student out. Let's continue to call for the release of the rest who remain in political detention. Shabata's release comes after weeks of intense advocacy and campaigning by human rights organizations, opposition parties, and concerned citizens. She was arrested and charged with participating in an illegal gathering, alongside 77 others, including Senator Jameson Timber and other opposition activists. The Avondale 78, as they have come to be known, were detained for participating in a peaceful gathering to commemorate the Day of the African Child. Their arrest sparked widespread condemnation from local and international human rights organizations, who deemed the detention a blatant suppression of freedom of assembly and expression. Shabata's bail release is seen as a significant victory for the campaign to free the Avondale 78. However, concerns remain for those still in detention, with many calling for their unconditional release. The release of Nicole Chibata is a testament to the power of collective action and advocacy, said Political of the Citizens Coalition for Change. We will continue to fight for the freedom of all political detainees and demand justice for those unfairly incarcerated. Human rights organizations have reiterated calls for the Zimbabwean government to respect the rights to freedom of assembly, expression, and association, as enshrined in the Constitution. The continued detention of political activists and opposition members is a clear indication of the government's disregard for human rights and the rule of law, said Dewa Mavhinga, Southern Africa Director at Human Rights Watch. As Jabata walks free, attention turns to the remaining detainees, with renewed calls for their release and demands for accountability from the Zimbabwean authorities. In conclusion, Nicole Chibata's release on bail is a welcome development, but the struggle for justice and freedom continues for those still detained. The international community and local stakeholders must maintain pressure on the Zimbabwean government to uphold human rights and respect the rule of law.